Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Hello, my name is Carl Willers. I'm the director here at the Nassau County Museum of Art in Roslyn Harbor, New York, where we've just opened the exhibition Peter Max. It's a body of work which comes from Peter's private collections and covers his entire career. Also, it's one of the very first looks at Peter Max drawings. It's hard to believe that an artist as well known as Peter Max, that there is anything about his career that's not widely known to the general public, but this is really the first chance to see many of his original drawings. Peter um, holds a very special relationship to American pop art because while many of the pop artists they are known as pop artists because they went to popular culture and images that were within popular culture and brought them into their work. You know, Peter actually made pop culture. Um, the look of his work, especially um, the brilliant color, the linear design, um, is greatly associated with um, both American popular music culture and just pop culture in general. It became uh, visible everywhere. Much of the show is arranged thematically. So in this first gallery, we see uh, both his cosmic Im imagery as well as a lot of the imagery um, that's related to celestial bodies, suns and planets. And a lot of the cosmic imagery also relates to um, Peter's sort of um, larger spiritual presence. Uh, I think partly because he grew up in the Far East, he's very East, interested in Eastern cultures and Eastern religions. He is of Jewish descent and very proud of that heritage, uh, but also very open to a lot of thought and culture that comes from the Far East. I'm standing here in front of a grouping of Peter's poster work. Peter's work was uh, very much in demand for um, record albums and a lot of the imagery that's associated with the major musical groups of the 1960s and 1970s and right up to the present day. From the Rolling Stones to the Beatles to Jimi Hendrix, they're all huge Peter Max fans. And um, it was partly an association with that popular music that is a hallmark of Peter's career. We're now standing in the second gallery of the exhibition, and as you can see behind me, the painting style has changed from a style that's dominated by um, a very fine line to something that has become much more expressionistic. It's very difficult to actually date different styles within Peter's painting because once he does a style, he um, will still pick it up many years later and continue to do works in that style. Uh, here in the third gallery of the exhibition, um, we have compositions that are both devoted to women, um, often in profile and um, images of flowers, um, both flowers out in the countryside as well as you know, cut flowers with, within the home. Um, it's one of the most beautiful galleries as you can imagine and there's a little bit of overlap as there always is in Peter's work between themes because many of the women have very elaborate headdresses which take up floral motifs. Um, some of them are Egyptian, some of them um, in flavor and um, I find that the floral pieces are amongst some of the most abstract. Hopefully visitors will understand that that line between abstraction and figuration is um, very tenuous. Peter's drawing style itself is quite varied. Um, from some of the most simple classical profiles that you see here uh, among some of the drawing of women to um, very, very densely scribbled lay pieces. Peter himself mentions that sometimes he just keeps going on a drawing and therefore they get very dense and, um, and very, very playful. He's a prolific drawer. He draws all the time and um, seemingly never makes a mistake. 
none of the drawings are necessarily direct studies for any of the paintings, and none of the paintings are, you know, exact replicants or, um, you know, emerge directly out of any one specific drawing, but they're all sort of variations on, on major themes that appear throughout his career. The Peter Max exhibition will be on view here at the Nassau County Museum of Art in Roslyn Harbor, New York, along the North Shore of Long Island through February 23rd. We hope that you will visit us. There is a lot to see. There are six galleries and um, several other spaces devoted to his work. It's a very large show that um, gives an overview of both his paintings and drawings throughout his career.